Hi beautiful people, today I wanted to do a tutorial on the elbow lever or the peacock or a set in Sanskrit, Pincha Mayurasana. So the first exercise is basically twisting the hands on the inside and feeling your lats and shoulders basically warming up. You're going to need your hands on the inside as close as possible for when we go onto the floor. So just make sure that you warm up your wrists and lats in this fashion. Next one is same motion except you push your elbows into your gut area, almost as if you're getting a slight punch. So as you're bringing the elbows in, you could even go <clears throat> almost like as if you got a little shot in the abdominal area. Next thing you do is you come into plank. Uh, here it's a crossed finger plank with the forearms on the floor. You can lift one leg at a time. Remember to breathe. It's very important when doing these yoga-esque poses and or calisthenic poses. So again, lift one leg at a time, or you could just stay in a straight out plank. Next variation is fingers are not interlaced, you're back into a plank. You can stay here in a static posture. My butt was a little bit more up than it should be. Ideally, you want your ankles aligned with the top of your head. And again, you could do some leg raises, or you could stay there in a static position. I can't emphasize enough the breathing, just keep focused. Next variation is the peacock hand variation. So the same hands we did in our warm up. You either stay in plank or you practice lifting one leg at a time. Be very patient when doing this exercise. I mean, the tutorial is about four minutes, but it might take you up to a couple of months to get good at this uh, exercise. Next exercise you do, I saw the Cavadlos doing it in one of their uh, tutorials, is you basically take a bench and you pivot into them using the same hands and arms we did at the beginning of the video. Here, same hands and arms. You practice lifting up one leg at a time. It's uh, going to put more balance and more force into the hands, uh, taking away weight from the legs slowly, slowly. Next one is you try floating the legs as high as possible. I'll give you a front view. You can even bring the feet together by this time or just keep them wide apart like this. As the peacock is an upside down lever, you can also practice the lever and see what it gives you. I did another tutorial on the planche prior to this one. Uh, there's some elements in that that might actually help you with the key uh, with a peacock or front lever. So, again, let's continue breathing uh, very rhythmically. Now, I think we're pretty much ready to try the peacock. So here it is. Breathe, be focused, and try and keep the ankles aligned with the top of the head. Once you're comfortable with the floor version, you can do a bar version. Leverts aren't the most stable, so be very careful. If you do with horizontal bars at the park, it's a lot easier. Here you start like this, and then once you're ready, you come to a more... Once you're ready, you try and come to a more horizontal position. Be very patient. You can practice this a couple of times a week, and don't stress out if you don't get it right away. Once you've mastered this, you want to go. You want to move on to other stuff maybe. So we do the lotus sit... Uh, peacock. Basically, you bring your feet in lotus, bring the hands onto the floor, elbows into the gut area, and you lift the legs. And so here you have the lotus sit uh, peacock or elbow lever. Uh, the next one, I was just messing around, a work in progress. You could do the one-handed peacock. It's not very efficient yet, as you can see. Guys, I hope this tutorial is helpful, and namaste. Thank you.